just before we start today, I'd like to say thank you to everybody for watching. This is episode 100. This is 100 episodes of the Tasmania Berlin Save. I just want to say thank you to Tasmania Berlin for being a fantastic story and just, just really enjoying it. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, we should be having a party and cakes today, but we're on woeful form, so that's not going to happen. But what I'd like to do is make a couple of companion pieces. I'm going to maybe do my top 10 players of the save so far, just to put out a separate video, and then maybe another one where I'm talking about the history of Tasmania Berlin, why I wanted to do it, maybe have a look at the, the stadium, have a look, go on Google Maps and see if we can see what things are going on in the in the area. Um, and yeah, just like to just keep you updated with what's happening with the club as well. So that'd be good. Anyway, stick around and watch the rest of the video. Hi guys, it's your boy Chris here from Heed the Ball Gaming and welcome back to episode 100, yes, 100 of that Football Manager 2019 save. We tried to take Tasmania Berlin all the way from the Berlin Liga all the way to Bundesliga. And yeah, things haven't been going overly great. We've got a woeful run of form as you can see from there. Luckily we're playing another woeful team, so hopefully we might get a get a result today. In terms of matches since we were last year, as you can see we're sitting in 18th place at the moment. We're not far off, but we've got more points on the board than what we did at this time last year, as long as sort of these teams here don't start running away. Anybody from Stuttgart 2 and uh, down, then we've got a chance. We want to keep more than just the one team in it than what we did last year, where we were just competing against Hal, basically, to stay up. And we did it. We, spoiler, <laughs> if you haven't been watching the series. And we're just going to have a wee look at the matches. You know, nothing great to tell you about your last year for the... German Pokal first round action against Heidenheim, where they beat us 1 0. We followed that up by a 2 1 loss against Bayern's second team. They were 2 0 up. We got one back in the 57th minute, so next to Mark Silak. And then we got a penalty in the 92nd minute, which Torsten Dorner, I don't know why he was taking it. I, I don't take it all or other. Penalty takers went on the pitch, and he proceeded to miss it, which was a nightmare. And then we followed that up with Borussia and Montenegro Gladbach, second team, and we lost 1-0, and it was just a pretty insipid performance. It wasn't great, we never never performed very well, and it was, yeah, poor, poor. And as you'll be aware, today's the day the transfer market closed, well, it closed last night, so what juicy action have we got? Not that much, to be honest, but a couple of players came in, so a bit more exciting than what it normally is, right? Cale Bradbury went away on loan to Green Gully. He just wasn't good enough. I think he was just a waste of £1,100. And they're paying all his wages, which is a bonus. So, all good on them. So, they're paying all that money. We get him off it. He's only on a year's contract anyway, so he'll be away in the summer. And we got... An absolute beast to replace him. Not not to replace him. He would he wouldn't be a beast if he was replacing him. He'd be terrible. But we'd be. I'll show you. I'll show you Lucas Fechter. We, we had him last season. He's a player on the left side. We can play in the left side. He's decent. He didn't play that many times last year. Twelve times scored. Uh, assisted twice. But he might play more this time. We're not paying any of his wages, so it was a no-brainer. Really, we knew him. We knew what we'd get from him. And we just went with him. And then this guy, Eric Dara Sobia. He is a goalkeeper. And that didn't work there. <laughs> I quickly missed it. Eric Dara Sobia. He's on loan from Darmstad 88-98. And he's on almost the same wage as what Bradbury's was on. But look at him. He is a goalkeeper that can actually goalkeep and this is this is amazing what a keeper what a 
what a man. He's, he's going to be the goalie for the next couple of, couple of years because he signed a two-year contract on loan. So we're going to develop him. And if we can find a, a proper good goalkeeper, young goalkeeper that will come to us permanently, then we'll sign him and he can compete with him. So, yeah, I'm so pleased because Caston has not been doing it. And uh, Christensen hasn't his awful as well. So, yeah, we're wasting a lot of money on goalkeepers, which is a bit upsetting, but Eric, this will be as much better. So let's go straight into the action today. We've got a big squad by the way. Volison, uh, Vigos and Abu are all on loan, uh, on the international duty. Quite pleased for Abu because he wasn't in the uh, squad till he came here, so shows you moving to a big club, what it does for your career. Morris Dans are still injured. We'll just go straight for it. And this is a team today. Darasobi is going to go straight in. Amen and Egor are, are, are getting a link together quite nicely. Bumpguard and Alec on either side. Corden, eh, Art and Bomb. Corden's done quite well because considering the last season he was just in the under 19s, he's actually came in and, and, and made, a, made a play for a first team position, which is quite good. Castelli, Marcella and Chirac. And then on the bench you've got Caston. And hopefully he'll stay all season. Chikora, Adjan, Kalulu, Roslar, Kosson and uh, Puente. Annoyingly, Mia got recalled because I wasn't playing him enough. And I just wasn't wasn't taking the managers any of his nonsense today. I just told him straight that he could have him back to save some money so I could afford some more players in the transfer window but I didn't sign anybody so <laughs> it was a bit of a bit of a waste. So yeah I just gotta check I don't want to put anybody else on the on the best Timo Rocker we we managed to said that we wanted him back but he didn't take him back because he's rubbish <laughs> and that's it and OB yeah so let's go for it. Two numbers in the in the squad um, I'm running out of numbers because I've got so many players. Um, what would be a goalkeeper's number? 29, 41. That has a 1 in it. So, and Ian. Has Fechter got a number? Ah, oh, Fechter's maybe not in the squad. That's maybe why. It's about numbers. Don't worry about him when he plays. <laughs> right, so here we are. Oh, Match at us, but we are playing sort of deeper and more exciting football. Right, oh, nothing happens. Come on, I want to see some greens. I want to see a win for the hundredth episode. Here we are. Let's show these guys who's boss. Check we are recording because I've done that before. <laughs> right. Right, here we go. Yeah, it's been a roller coaster this hundred episodes. But we've been playing awfully. <gasps> bomb with a goal. You dropped a bomb on me, baby. You dropped a bomb on me. You done oh. Here we go, what a, that is what he is renowned for, boom, it is a bomb, beautiful, and that's why I wanted to bring him in, that's why he was one of my top transfer targets, I was bringing, I wanted to bring him in alone, and he released him, I was like, I'll have him, thank you very much, and I wasn't, I wasn't convinced he was going to come to me, because a lot of these players won't, once he's been released, and oh, keep it going, Silva, oh, he makes a mistake, but there's nobody to capitalise unless Castelli can. Oh, it's Ronaldo. Shilak, oh! Oh, beautiful. Shilak's looking like the find of a season. I wasn't I wasn't convinced he was going to be coming in as a, as a starter. He was mainly for the left side, but he's proven that he maybe should be playing down the middle. Uh, 
and they are a little bit depleted because OB we were trying to develop and play Bowen possibly forgot the film Danish guy's name that's not good don't tell him <laughs> aren't struggling but I'll take him off once we're playing good at the moment we give him a bit of praise you know we score if we praise them so well, we scored before we praised them, so that was, I knew that was coming. Now, it's, get creative, go on, treat yourself to a bit of creativity. And we haven't really seen the, the new man tested yet. Dyer Sober, I might just nickname him the goalie. Pressurised by telling me to just get creative. These shouts are just terrible, aren't they? They, they don't actually do anything. Let's see if it equalise before half time. That'll be the whole game plan out the window. And they have. I feel some passion, come on. That is ridiculous. If any game can sum up Tasmania Berlin, it's this one. <laughs> On the 100th game, we've given away a two goal lead to go into the break 2 0, 2 2. Right, I'm going to mind. I wasn't as worried once I'd got all these sidings in. I thought we were going to stay up. This is looking more difficult than last season. I get aggressive because that is really annoying to go 2-0 up eh, to go 2 up and then get pegged back bomb oh <gasps> goalkeeping mistake bomb bomb <laughs> that's one of us we have sorted out the goalkeepers a little bit. You don't see as many of these in, and, and that could happen. It's kind of went off the post and hit him on the back, but he isn't looking at it. He isn't trying to stop it. He's just standing there as he bounces off him. Oh. There we go, Inger. Oh. Nothing here. Oh, in ball, bomb, oh, brutal, and Corden, I like don't lose it because he likes losing it there, he's a young lad, lots of young players in this team, they lack in experience, oh, Marcella, he played him into trouble there, but Ammon's got it, just deal with it, and the goalie must be thinking, what have I got myself into here, oh, I'm just criticising him for the wee play. Bomb. <gasps> oh. Beautiful. Do we go? Do we stick or twist? They've already pegged us back. Do we go cautious? I think we do. We're away from home. We don't want to take any unnecessary risks. 14th position. Aren't. Oh, I thought that was in. I think we need to take Art off. We need to protect the main man. We need to bring on. What's our? I was going to say I was bringing on Dorner, but he's not not in the squad. Marcella's not playing very well, so I bring on Kyle. I think we just keep it much and muchness. And hope that Alec and Bomb don't need to take an off either. Be creative, go on, treat yourself to some creativity. Changes if Alex struggling we're going to take him off because 
he's kind of aggressive in 19, so we do not want to anger him. He's a left back, so Punte can come on. There we go. A shame because he's been playing absolutely outstanding. We. Sheen all over the place. Oh, and a save. <sighs> a penalty. <gasps> and a save. A penalty save. I haven't seen one of them from my side for years. <laughs> Not since the North East North days, anyway. That should finish him off, surely. Bomb's just going to have to keep going. Come on, blow your whistle. Come on. Good side, come on. Ah, oh, you can shoot from there all day. This has been an exciting game of football. Dara Sobert must be wondering what he's come to. Conceded two goals. They've gave away a penalty. I think he's had a fairly decent debut. 7.3 for a goalkeeper is excellent. I haven't seen a green for a little while. Crash the guy occasionally, but not been that was really special guys well done I was going to play a cruising game but that's a formality surely we're going to play the reserves and let them have a have a go at it beautiful let's praise that bomb performance that was amazing and he's surely going to be worth a lot of money in a few years' time. He's, he can only get better, surely. He's only worth 24 grand at the moment, but he's going to get a lot better. Brilliant. Just look at the schedule. I think what we'll do is... Yeah, Prusin's... First mile, surely. I'll come back and tell you we've lost it. I was going to play Chemnitz, our old pals, but... What I'll do is, if I've come back a few times, I'll come, I won't come back to October, Munster are top of the league at the moment, so if they're still top of the league, I'll come back for that. I'm going to play a chunk of games, maybe four games, and then I'll come back. Alright, thanks very much for watching, see you next time, bye-bye.